People, it's time for another feeding video. It has been about a month since the last one. I'm pretty sure everyone's hungry and ready for some feeding. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so since I'll be feeding the adults only once a month, I'm gonna have to be giving them something that will fill them up for the month. We've got some adult female dubias. The reason I'm feeding off female dubias is because they appear to have more meat as compared to the males. Now let's hope for some awesome takedowns. Look at this feisty little guy. Alright, let's get right into the feeding and leave this guy be. First on today's list will be my Brachypelma sableossum, which is the Guatemalan red rump. Whoa, this one's always feisty, still fighting the roach there. Whoa, look at all the crunch. That's the end of that roach. Look at that. That's crazy. I've got two sable awesome, so here's the second one. Whoa, super hungry. Okay, so next up will be my Brachypelma Classy, which is the Mexican pink. This is a four inch female. Whoa, <laughs> made me jump a little. Here's another Brachypelma Classy. This one is a male. Thank God this one is a male because the one that we fed previously is a female. So hopefully we'll be able to pair, pair them in the future. This guy appears to have some pink mustache. Pretty cool. This right here is a Nandu Tripepi. Whoa. Do you grab it? Yep, you did. Wait, no you did not. Come on. There we go. A little bit big for her, but she managed to take it down. Here's my Thrixopelma Okurti. This is the Peruvian flame rump. Just a small dubia for it. There we go. Now next up we have my adult female OBT, which is the orange baboon. She's come over this side and she's going back to the other side. She's in threat mode. Doesn't want to, doesn't seem to want to eat. I could be wrong though. Whoa. Damn. Yep. There she goes. She has come out to say hello. Very beautiful baboon. Still with the fang action over there. Next up is my Acanthus scuria geniculata, which is the Brazilian white knee. I'm gonna drop in a roach. This species is crazy. Boom! Went straight for it. Damn, that first sable awesome is still wrestling its roach. And that's after like 10 minutes. That's crazy. Okay, now we're gonna attempt to feed my Salmopos Cambridgei, the Trinidad Chevron. You can see the leg over there. And here she comes. She took the roach. Wait, what? Nope. Where'd the roach go? I think she still feels it running around. Not really sure. Oh well, she'll find the roach when it surfaces, probably at night. So we'll just give you guys a look of her. But anyways, this is my Singapore Blue, the Lampropelma Viola Siopis. Here's my Kilobrachis Cancrochan. Gonna have to be a bit more cautious with this one. 
because after listening to Tarantula Chronicles experience with Herculobrachis, yeah, not looking forward for that to happen. There, you heard the crunch. Not very sure if you can see properly, probably not. But she definitely took it down. Next up, we have a Terranoculus Lugardi, the Fort Hall Baboon. Damn, Dubia playing dead. No, no, not my tongs, god damn it. Ah, whatever. Let's go second attempt. Mm -hmm. There we go. Wait, what? What? Grab the roach. Grab the roach. Ah, hate dubious, man. Stromatopelma calcedum, the feather leg baboon. Not a species to play with. These guys are very potent. <sighs> Looks like he doesn't want the dubia, but at least you got a to see a shot of him. Anyway, moving on to my 4 inch female Gramastola rosea or pottery. Not really sure. Some people say it's a rosea. Some people told me pottery. Let me know in the comments below what do you think it is. Here's my gorgeous 5 inch female Brachypelma albiceps. The Guatem no not Guatemalan, the Mexican Golden Red Rump. Whoa. Here is Poclotheria striata, Mysore Ornamental. Uh oh. Here is another Acanthoscuria geniculata, which is the Brazilian White Knee. Bam! This one's a bit more dangerous. This is my Haplopelma Minex, which is the Thailand Black, 5 inch female. She is aggressive. I say aggressive because she will come after you. People say tarantulas are defensive. Oh shit. Because most tarantulas will want to scare you away instead of attacking you. But this girl will come after you. This is my Nandu Carapuensis, the Brazilian Red. Not a very aggressive attack, but that's okay. Next up, Brachypelma Bomi, Mexican Fire Leg. Oh, almost did a flip there. Brachypelma albopelossum, Honduran curly hair. The tarantula with the bad hair day every day. I think she got offended. Lesiodora klugi, Bahia scarlet. Whoa. There we go. Right back into the hide. Just found a freshly molted dubia, which will be going to the Gramastola pulchra. Why are you running away? I think you're in pre -mold. Very unlike a Gramastola pulchra to refuse food. Next is Aphonopelma simani, Costa Rican zebra. Alright, so here's the Acanthoscuria chaquana, the Bolivian pink. 
Eh, very unlike it. He usually comes out straight away. Let's try offering with tongs. Are you not hungry? Yo. Oh yeah, there we go. Why did she not take it the first time? I have no idea. Another Acanthoscoria geniculata. The Brazilian white knee. Male OBT. Not sure if he'll take it. Oh, yep, he did. Okay, so we'll finish off this video with the four males that I have up here. Here's my crazy male Nandu Chromatus. As you can see, always striking. There we go. He took it. Brachypelma albopilosum, Honduran curly hair. Not hungry. Okay. Brachypelma vagans, Mexican red rump. And last but not least, Brachypelma harmori, X smithy. Premote as well. So that'll be it for today's feeding video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Because I'm only going to be doing this once a month. I'll be feeding all the slings off camera because they're not very exciting to watch. So yeah, till the next feeding video, I'll catch you guys in the next one.